everything that's been a success has been down to the success in communication. The game is far from one. Oh, they cover me. Moving. One shot, two shots changes the whole perspective on the game. Good game today, basically. Um, got a good bunch of lads and um, got our first win today. Introducing the iPhone app for Westminster Kingsway College. Our app gives you the chance to browse the courses at our centres on your mobile phone. Here you can find out more about a course you may be interested in, read testimonials or watch videos to give you a better idea about what the course entails. Hi, I'm Alicia Dixon. Welcome to the Westminster Kingsway College Choice FM Dance-Off. Table, which you can easily change to remind you, for example, what lectures you have when and where, create a homework diary and lots lots more. You can also click on the map section to find out how to get to one of our centres and find out where the next open day is being held. Get smart, get mobile with Westminster Kingsway College. at wkc at westking.ac.uk Today is about our travel and tourism students being given the opportunity to show off what they can do. wear their traditional costume, produce some food from their countries, to dance, we have some belly dancing, we've got American street dancing. It's a real opportunity for them to invite their parents in, their friends, their family, um, and showcase what we're all about. to the Westminster Kingsway College Choice FM Dance-Off. Hi, my name is Benji, I'm the dance teacher. I'm looking after Lucy and Rollo. I'm Luis from Donna. I'm doing the little routine for the guys. It's so bad, it's so embarrassing. Um, we've just been thrown into this professional class and Rollo and I are at the front and we just look so crap compared to everyone else. 
I thought it was going to be a lot harder, a lot more complex than what it is. But after doing the steps, I realised that it's just mediocre and we can manage that. We're so bad. It's embarrassing. We just got two left feet, but it's okay. I'm here. I'm here to help him. That is part of the script, bro. Why does that bring his own swagger? Why does that bring his own swagger? I don't even know what's going on in their room. Right, but you know, we've got to remember one thing. Rollo's like 72 years old. He's got to take it easy. <laughs> oh. So I'm here at Westminster King's Way College, and I have to say, the college looks beautiful. And I've met Andy, who I think has to be the coolest, but coolest. What would you call yourself? Principal? I'm afraid I'm a principal. He's a yeah. principal with. An earring. I'm sorry, <laughs> but my principals didn't have earrings. And if you was my principal, I reckon I'd have done better at school. I did go to college, did which you? is good. But as I, I say, I think it's all down to the teaching skills. Yep. And I think if you've got good teachers, you do better at school. Yep, we've got and good you teachers. look approachable. Good. Which means you're probably really lovely. Yeah, I like to, I like to think so. And I think that this and and actually compared to some places I've been, this is one of the nicest. It's brand spanking new. It's it gorgeous. Is. Makes yep. studying all that much more lovely. Just opened in February. And your students, I've met them, they're very yeah, nice they're as well. Nice they don't give well. you any gyp, do they? Uh, none whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Shah, I'm doing National Diploma in Dance. And my name is Ashley and I'm doing BTEC National Diploma in Dance as well. The reason I chose to do this course is because I want to get into professional dance. I've been dancing from a really young age and it's become my passion. I like this course because instead of just doing all dance, we're doing business and historical context of dance as well. So I think it's useful, especially when we want to know the history of dance and where it came from. We do all types of dance, jazz, contemporary and ballet, which we need in the professional world. So I think just not only me, but everyone's certainly is getting a lot better. Um, I personally think Westminster Kingsbury is a really good college because we've got new facilities now, theatre, it's a new building, which makes us want to educate ourselves more and makes us want to learn. Rollo's enthusiastic. I like the boom boom, that's what I like. Keen. Go! Funny. <laughs> we can go now, we've done it. It's all over. I didn't even break a sweat. But if we're talking about dancing, <laughs> he's lost. You got that bit? No. Okay, again. <laughs> From the top. Wait, oh, I'm gonna go up like that. Get out, Alicia, man. What are you dealing with? I don't want you stealing my moves for your next video, Alicia, about breathing so Get out! Get out, man. What are you dealing with? To be honest, these dancers, they're fit because they do it and then they just carry on talking like nothing wrong. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We're me and a brandy right now, trying to work out which room we're in. <laughs> My man here, he doesn't do nothing else. I'm taught, yeah? Does he work in the office? No. <laughs> he just dances. My man loves it. And the thing is, we walked in the room and the man already said five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> we walked in and I said five, six, seven, eight. I said, sorry, what's your name? He didn't even know my name. He didn't care about my name. I see so I can see that um, RV already is struggling a little bit, but I think he's doing his best and he's trying to catch up. Abranti is doing much better. I think he has a little bit more training and he's also uh, have some more facilities. I think he's catching up quicker and he's finding it easier to do all the jumps. Yeah, that's the move. We just made it up. Me and RB made it happen. And then link. And then. No, jump out. Oh, come on, man. There it is. Come on. Whether it work or not, who knows? You're going to have to trust him. Rollo. Yeah. Do I hold bottles? Yeah, I'm a bit nervous having to trust Rollo. <laughs> you need to be all the I way. I need to hold a Oh my god! Yeah, oh god, it's so hard. It's really, really hard. And I'm loving it. I'm really enjoying it. But, oh god, I just don't know how we're going to do this competition. That <laughs> many? Yeah. No, I can't do it, man. I'm not getting her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> just give me a few more days. I don't get it right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's how we do. That's how we do. But yeah, Pete.
<laughs> that's how we do. I'm tired. I'm that good. It's hard work. I don't want to do it. I'm going home. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it soon. at West King TV. Uh, this is the Escoffier kitchen. Um, we do a seven course taster menu from here. Starter section here, fish section at the back, and then we have meat section over here. Uh, we do about 25 covers a day, um, and we're also open for functions. This is the Brasserie restaurant. As you can see at the moment, we're in service. Um, we can get anything up to 80 covers a day. Normally, on a, on a normal day, it's about 60 covers. Um, this is a good place to come and eat. A lot of the locals come around here, a lot of the businessmen, um, politicians come here, and it's just a good place to eat. From here, we do all the breads for the restaurants and for upstairs in the canteen. From here, we do all the cakes um, and the scones for upstairs in the canteen also. Okay, this is the larder. Um, from here, we'll do all the um, salads and sandwiches for upstairs in the canteen. On this section, we'll do the starters um, for both the brasserie and the escoffia. This is the butchery. Um, we have three sections here. We have um, a meat section, a poultry section, and a fish and selfish section. Um, all the orders will come in in the morning and um, the third years and second years will help prep them and they'll go off to the various classrooms they needed. My name is Peter Jones and I've become, I suppose, a little bit more well-known um, in the entrepreneurial world because I'm on a show called Dragon's Den. Dragon's Den is a television program where people pitch ideas to a team of five individuals. What I decided to do at 19 was go into the computer marketplace and learn everything about it. If you were sitting here today and you had to make a decision about whether to spend a quarter of a million pounds, do you believe that you would, individu as individuals, be actually skilled enough to have made that decision in the right way? It's really great to see groups of people who hadn't met before today working together on the activities led by the three people who've won the competition um, today. It's a great pleasure for me to, uh, to welcome both um, John Hayes, who's the Minister responsible for further education, so he's, he's the Minister that's responsible for the money that comes into this college. And to have the man himself here to, uh, to front this today is a really great pleasure for Westminster Kingsway College. like everybody else, get that qualification, but do something with it and change your lives and hopefully employ thousands of people and make our economy really, really strong as a result.
Um, we auditioned for a dance troupe, dance performance company, which means that we will be touring and performing. Yeah. Um, so it's really good training. We get to train with like top choreographers. So it was something that we really wanted. Yeah, it was intense, it was fast, but enjoyable. They made it really fun. And I think that everyone got through, deserved to get through, because yeah. we did work quite they hard. They added our own style as well. They didn't give us yeah, a set movement, style. So we could add our own stuff into it. It's one of them courses that um, like you're always doing something, there's never a chance where you're just like just sitting around, you're always active and stuff. professional bartending course at Westminster King's Way College. Uh, on the course you'll learn how to work as a professional bartender and how to make classic cocktails. Mm -hmm. I love it, I love the fucking shit. Right. Um, I auditioned for a musical theatre down there, right. but um, I went to Connections and they got me auditions for here. But when I come here, in my auditions, like my teacher Tracy is the head of um, musical theatre, she was really mm -hmm. strict. And I thought, yeah, I love that, something to push me. <laughs> really? So I didn't bother going to any other auditions, uh -huh. I just come here because of how she was in that yeah. one audition. Yeah. Like, she had an impression on me. But... That's funny, teachers do. I mean, I had a teacher, not here, but uh, at my primary school, he was just a gym teacher, mm. right? I was about 10. And he kind of, he believed in me in really weird ways mm. that, you know, my parents didn't, you know? And we're still in touch today. And that was years ago. It's kind of funny um, that I, I felt really safe with this guy and what he said. And it wasn't just about making me football captain or mm. cricket captain. It went into other parts of my life, even music, you know? So that's interesting because a lot of people go to performing arts school, don't they? There's one teacher that always gets mm. to you and pushes you. Like Tracy yeah. really pushes me. And yeah. sometimes I think, oh, and I'm thinking, I know that she's pushing me so mm -hmm. hard because I need to get more out. And I'm really jealous what I mean. of what you do. You know why? Because what I do for a living, everybody always thinks, you know, oh, yeah, what he does, I won't mind doing. He's got a great job, you know, radio, oh, is that TV. The lick? Yeah, yeah, every, right, yeah, Nick and Radio One and stuff and one extra. They just think, you know, that's, I'd love to do that. And they always say, how'd you get that? Like, what courses did you go on and stuff? There were no courses in my day at all for so what I if do. You had, if you would go back in time and you mm. chose, if you could change your course, what would you have done? Well, I mean, I, I'd have to ask you because when I came here, I used to go to an all-boys school, um, which was a good school for <laughs> education, but boring. Um, when I say boring, I just mean it was all boys. And, and, you know, and it was when you got to the sixth form. I liked the first five years, got to the sixth form. There weren't many facilities. Mm. There wasn't much to keep your mind. You know, you're, you're 16, 17, you're, you just want to do everything, don't you? Mm. And so I figured that when I left the school, I'll come here. I had to reset my A's, to be fair. 
Because I just lost interest at school. I, I finished school when I was 15, so I had to work really, really? hard. So I'm the same as you, because yeah. I, art was my passion, and mm. I did art, and I thought, no, no. Yeah. Then went to musical theatre, right. which I'm obviously enjoying. That's your now, passion, so. right? Yeah. Well, I didn't know what my passion was. Mm. I, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I, I was like... One of them kids, and there's lots of kids like me, I think, when they're 15, yeah, you, when you're 12, you've got a dream. You want to be a footballer or this or that or the <laughs> other. But when you're 15, your kind of reality sets in, and I was just like, well, I'm not actually naturally gifted at anything. I can't sing, I can't play a musical instrument, I'm okay at French, I'm okay at accounts, you know, math, you know, mm, that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. So I ended up doing maths and accounts for A-level instead, you know, and if someone said, what do you want to do? I'd say, I don't know. And so I came here, and I remember walking in, um, before the end of the term I came in, you know, mm. just to see what the college was like, because I had a couple of friends who said, you, you should come here, Kingsway, you know. And I remember Fame was what, one programme we all used to watch on telly, we used to love Fame, you know, like, why aren't the colleges in England like that? And, yeah. and when I walked in here, I swear I thought I was walking into Fame. Well, people, kids weren't dancing on the tables or nothing, but it was like, just, it was like, the United the Nations and Benetton all mixed into one, yeah. it was like all different coloured people <laughs> from different places, I swear I heard a couple of people speak in different languages, you know, it was just, I was just like, wow, this is the world to me, you know, and it's like, a lot, I think a lot of kids are quite sheltered, and they need, you need to open up, and a lot of people don't open up till they go uni, but I felt I did at college, because it kind of, I started hearing what other people wanted to do, you know, I remember Andrew Roachford used to go here, who's a musician, and he was walking around with his guitar and he was doing this and then other people said, I want to be this, I'm going to do teaching. You know, it was different to what I had at school because all okay. boys are just like, I'm going to work in the city, I'm going to do this. And I joined immediately. I met people who shared the same sort of passions I had in music when I was here. They might have been studying anything, art or whatever, but in our spare time, our social time, we went to the same places. Mm. We were really like-minded, uh, boys and girls, you know. And my business brain kicked in because I started promoting my own gigs and this was the core of people that I used to support me, you know, when I did stuff. And um, it just spiralled from there. It's really funny because I became a club promoter, I became a DJ. But I, I, I felt DJing and stuff was not really a profession. It wasn't really in them days, it was a hobby. So I actually didn't work straight away in there, you know, in DJing. I actually worked in retail, but it did it in my spare time. And it overtook my, my, my real work and became my life. You know, like, I started running a record shop. I owned my own record shop. I ran my own parties. I promoted them. I kind of did marketing as well. Do you know what I mean? I marketed yeah, so myself. Did help you. I yeah, we were, did, yeah. yeah, we were creating brands when we didn't know what brand was. You know, all this stuff that I hear there are courses for, we were kind of just doing it. You, you know what I mean? Organically. Mm. And, and, for example, if I came to Kingsway now and I said I want to be a broadcaster... Uh, DJ, a broadcaster, a yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Especially our company, Regents Park, we have media, music tech, I've seen all people DJing. Mm. And I miss that college. I'm, coming here, it's bigger and brighter, yeah. and there's a lot more, like, I've never yeah. seen IT students and I mean, around different kinds of people. There was no IT in my day. Yeah. <laughs> Not properly, anyway. <laughs> but that's, I, I, but I yeah. kind of felt the same way yeah. at Regents Park because it was just performing. Mm, mm. So coming here and looking into the science labs, I'm thinking, I haven't seen yeah. that since I was 15 at school. Yeah. and so yeah, if you could go back in time, would you have done that? I right? think without a, of course, you know, I mean, it's like, I didn't know that I had a marketing head. I didn't mm. know that I had, you know, just that whole, all the things that encompass what I do. People see me as a presenter, but there's a lot more to my past than that in order to get to where I got to. It was, I, I had to, promotions, marketing, just, you know, music knowledge, DJing. Um, broadcasting skills, even journalistic, I write for magazines, but I never took a journalist course, mm. journalism course or anything like that. And I think that nowadays, I think kids are so lucky they got all these things. That's what my mum says. <laughs> you, you have no idea that you are how lucky you are. I mean, trust me on this, you got, in my day, you crash your car to learn how to drive. Like, if you, if you buy a car, mm. you pass your test, you've got to have a little knock or a scrape. I don't mean a crash. Yeah. I mean a little scrape before you say, oh, I'm not going to drive that close to a car again. You know, like you put yeah. your finger in the fire and you'll never do it again. It's that sort of thing that we were doing. Now you, you can shortcut and, 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 and be taught. I've gone to colleges and mentored kids. You know, you get people coming around going, well, this is what I'd do, this is what I wouldn't do. And it's great. The only thing I would say about it, though, uh, advice to people is, don't be impatient because you've got skills all of a sudden at a young age. Like, by 21, you've got all these skills that it took me 10 years to get. Mm. You know, and all of a sudden, then, right, where's my job? 
You know, I, I'm I'm in that same position. You, you, I think like, oh, I want to act. I, yeah. I want to do it now. And mm. I'm thinking, oh, college. Coming here, I've, like, I want to act, but I chose musical theatre because I want to other skills yeah. like dancing and singing. But I just want it, and I'm thinking, well, you just it up and, yeah. But you know what it is? It's just like, like right, when you leave Kingsway, okay, you. The way I look at it is people say, oh, you know, people always man, oh, I'm 23, I'm old. I'm that's 25, I'm old. And then they get, I'm 29, I'm dead. You know, that's not true. Every, because you've got to look at it this way. I, I, this is my theory. Every year you've got to learn something else, add something else to your, to your sort of string of achievements mentally that you've, you know, because that's all you do. As long as you keep wanting to learn, because I'm still learning. I still learn things, honestly, every day. And... You know, I add it to my repertoire and it just arms you. So look at you, you're being really natural interviewing me, having a chat with me. Well, you're not even interviewing me, we're just having a chat. Yeah. And when I, when I talk to big stars, I'm not saying I'm a big star, but when I talk to people who are big stars, people go, oh, how did you talk to Pete Diddy and just chill and Jay-Z? And I'm like, he's human. You've got to see them like normal He's human. Yeah. He loves the fact I want to talk to him like that. Do you see what I mean? And these are skills that took me years to learn. And look at you sitting there just chatting. <laughs> so my point is, no, but that's my point. You know, um, you arm yourself with things from experience and that's what age does for you. So I think I would have taken certain courses, but part of me is glad I didn't have to. I learned the way I learned. Fair enough, a lot of people I know didn't make it my way. My way is not the best way. It happened lot... for a reason because look where you are. You took yeah. And... But I'm kind of, a, I was like a student of other people's experiences. I kind of looked around and said, well, what he or she did, I'm not going to do because I can see that was wrong. Mm. You know, now you have a course where it tells you this is the way you should do it or this is the way you should do something and you get a chance. I mean, have you been on TV before? Um, I've done a couple of bits on Living TV Extra, but I've just like, had the experience of the camera when I was about 16, I started, right. and I thought, okay, there's so much, because th everything you do, whether it's accountancy, IT, or acting, mm. it's a big industry. You always have sure. competition to get that one job. Yeah. And I thought, right now, I'm I'm okay, I need to be as great as I can be, yeah. not better than anyone, but as great as I can be. Yeah. So, Westminster Kings are here, I come, all my teachers pushed me, and yeah. then soon, maybe in a couple of years, I'll try and work my heart back into the industry like mm -hmm. that, but I just want to make myself better. But you've better. had, you've had yeah. at what age at 16, you were on tele on camera? Yeah. Oh, that's nice for you. <laughs> because, you know, when I first got on camera, when? the first show I ever did of The Lick on when MTV, well, when, when I did, at 98, the first time they gave me the show, I said, so, right, who's going to teach me how to do telly? And they went, mm, no one, just fly away. I can't believe they didn't have courses for that back courses? then. Courses? Because, because, because this, back then the TV movies were, it's still yeah. a, it was a big thing then like yeah. it is now, so. Well, they, they had drama courses. They didn't have TV oh, presenter God. courses, you know, and plus when you're, when you're doing something that's quite groundbreaking, that's the reason they call it groundbreaking, because no one's really <laughs> from the UK had done a show like that before. And so, apart from the skills you get at college, you have to develop your own skills. You have to make your own decisions in your head how you're going to do something. No two actresses are going to play a role exactly the same. It's not possible. Mm. Everyone, if you get put Meryl Streep and Judy Dench up for the same role as a grandmother of two kids, they will play them similarly, but very differently. Different style. And they're both Oscar winning actresses. So who's right, who's wrong? There is no right and wrong. You just have to bring, mm -hmm. do you know what I'm saying? So you can only learn so much from college. That's your foundation. Yeah. The it's rest is all life up to you. Yeah. Just the same way you're motivated to come here and, and study. It's the same way you have to motivate yourself and form your own identity because being an individual is all it's at, seriously. Mm. The only thing you can be is an individual. Yeah, fair enough, you're going to be in a group theatre situation. Yeah, but, but everything is individual. Yeah. You can never be like Absolutely. someone. You can learn from them for I, that skill of thank acting. Thank you. I don't, I don't look at anyone and go, right, I'm going to be like him. Ever. I don't even listen to other people's mm. radio shows because I don't want to pick up the habits that they have. I kind of admire people and the weirdest people I've admired. I tell you who I admire, you'll never believe. Not even a hip hop artist, not even a singer. Uh, when it comes to presenting, who I used to watch, you don't even know this guy. I might come from. You don't know him because <laughs> he's not around anymore. His name is Barry Norman. He used to do. He used to do the film shows before Jonathan Ross. You know Jonathan Ross does yeah, the yeah, film yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Jonathan Ross took over from him. This is an old guy who used to just write his own scripts, talk about movies that I couldn't even see because I wasn't old enough to see them. But I used to be obsessed with his show. He used to sit there and just go like. 
Right, here's a film. It's a film da -da -da, directed by da -da 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 -da, starring, and I think it's da -da, and he'd interview the guy, he'd interview the artist, the, the main actor, and then afterwards he'd come back and he'd give his his sort of critique of the film. And he was pretty honest. And I used to think I'd like to see that, or I wouldn't like to see that. But I just liked the way his opinion meant something, and he made sure his opinion meant something. And I kind of took that 20 years later when I was an adult into the lick. And that's kind of what I did with the lick in a sense. And he was an influence, not a hip hop star, not anything. So he, he came from somewhere completely different. Natalie, thank you very much, my dear, for taking me around. I thought it was fantastic. If you don't become a top actress after the tips I have given you, those nuggets of information. I, I got a lot. And I'm you got some nuggets of information. Yeah. You're very relaxed. I think you could do really well. Thank you. I think you could do really well. Really well. Do you have any ideas? Do you want to get involved at West King TV? Email us at wkc at westking.ac.uk.